Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at this Alpha 1500 watt 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. It's another one of the budget uh, friendly inverters that are hitting the market which there are plenty of them like the lithium batteries there's quite a few to choose from now and the price keeps dropping on everything uh, we have used a budget inverter around here quite a bit have had zero problems with it we're gonna take a quick look at this one and see how it measures up for a few things as well it did come uh, it well packaged for travel I saved you the unboxing and one uh, page insert of the operating instructions uh, some uh, safety warnings and the product specifications so uh, brief but informative uh, it really does cover everything you want to know as far as your uh, output power 1500 watts AC 110 volts output frequency 60 Hertz all the specifications are right here pretty standard parameters for something this size or specifications rather it does have an AC overload protection 1800 watts max I'm assuming if you go up to that it's going to sh shut off and beep we're not going to push it to that but we're going to put a pretty good load on it and and see how it works for us so in the back which is pretty standard on these types of inverters you've got the you know positive and negative uh, terminals to clamp on your battery cables dual fans there's one here and one right there dual fans easy to assemble for your battery cables and then in the front you got a couple of AC outlets two USB 2.1 amp outlets your on off switch uh, AC voltage out which it should be hitting about 110 or thereabout since it's that's what it's rated at uh, battery voltage monitor we've got it hooked up today to the ampere time 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery we use this a lot around here and a lot of demonstrations and a lot of uh, personal uses this thing is a workhorse it's never had a problem with it uh, can't say enough good things about that of course you know I love lithium and if I ever do find anything wrong with any of these things that I review, uh, I will be sure to pass it along. So we did put the multimeter on the battery to see uh, what it was at rest. It's been resting now for several days in preparation for this. So we know exactly what it is. It read in at exactly 13.3 volts. So pretty full battery. And I just wanted to see how the uh, the meter on here uh, how accurate it is so we know we're sitting at 13.3 accurate read let's turn it on so there it is 13 it was 13.3 briefly reads 13.4 so I'm gonna have to say that's a pretty accurate read uh, the multi multimeter was at 13.34 as I believe the exact numbers so uh, in there it goes 13.3 so um, pretty accurate read on that so that's nice for on your display during use you're going to be able to see an accurate uh, voltage for your battery it is reading 110 volts there's a little flicker that's just due to my camera being in the light I'm looking at it with the naked eye it is not flickering at all 
110 volts which is exactly what it's rated for and like I said it's perfectly clear to the naked eye it's just I believe the Sun hitting this camera in the back giving it a little flicker action but if I wasn't outside and was indoors with this thing uh, it's it's looking perfect so uh, no complaints on the on the display and it's reading zero amps at the moment there's a little green uh, light that's just the on indicator shows that your inverter is on we've got it plugged in to this watt meter which is plugged in to this heat gun we're not going to attempt to put this on a very high setting we'll put it on a low setting and and see how it uh, handles what how the inverter handles so let's click click it on that heat gun now is on a low setting 680 watts fluctuating 670 something 6 681 682 so pretty good load on the low setting 680 watts battery voltage under this kind of load goes down to 12.7 12.8 no problem uh, the volts are reading 111 under load and 4.9 amps so that's good and like I said I it shows a little flicker but to the naked eye there's no flicker going on whatsoever I believe that's just my end with the camera so the displays look good they look accurate that's about what I would expect that battery uh, the ampere time to be dropping down under about a 700 or a 670 680 watt load so all looks good don't feel any warmth whatsoever on this mm, maybe just the slightest warmth just almost imperceptible maybe just the slightest bit of warmth on the cables coming off the inverter maybe there it's just pretty much imperceptible so it's not hitting this very hard at all there's just yeah maybe just the most imperceptible warmth on that holding 12.7 675 watts yeah that baby's blowing some heat so on the on the high setting that thing would exceed the the ratings for the battery uh, the and it might be close on the inverter as well so we're not gonna we're not gonna push that at all 675 watts still holding rock steady at 127 just cool as can be no need for the fan to even kick on yeah just everything cool to the touch so I like these budget inverters if you're like me and you've been around uh, solar uh, equipment for a long time let me turn this off real quick And, uh, you know, 20 years ago when I first started getting into solar, a pure sine wave inverter when they were first coming out, 
Uh, a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter would have cost thousands of dollars, literally. They were extremely expensive. That's why we all use the, uh, the modified sine wave. Uh, and they had some limitations on our sensitive electronic equipment even back then. They did work well, but when pure sine wave first came out, uh, they were just unreachable as far as uh, affordability for most people. Now, <laughs> what used to cost thousands of dollars, today you can get this thing for like 185 bucks, and that is just unbelievable to me. Uh, this will run all of your sensitive equipment, computers, smart TVs, whatever it is you're using, plus it's got the, the USB uh, plugs in there outlets for your USB products that battery has quickly after just that short little bit jumped right back up to about where we started 13.3 so uh, hope this gives keep, continues to give you all ideas uh, if I ever run across any problems running any of these uh, components uh, regardless whether they were uh, sent to me for review or if it's something I've purchased I will be quickly uh, letting you know of any problems Continue to love the ampere time battery using it all the time No problems whatsoever so Yeah, the alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter 200 bucks or less uh, Like I said, we're gonna keep using this this is gonna get a lot of use if I run across any problems with it whatsoever, I'll let you know. But right now, shoot, like it pretty good. All right, everybody. Aloha.